Breaking WPS, Section 5. In this section, we're going to take a look at the fundamentals of WPS. We're going to set up WPS on an access point so we can exploit it, and we're going to crack it using Wash, Reaver, and Bully in Kali Linux, as well as then cracking it with Wi-Fi Pi and NetHunter on our Android device. Wi-Fi Protected Setup, WPS. In this video, we're going to take a look at what is WPS and what flaw in WPS can be exploited. So what is WPS? Well, WPS was designed to save users time and effort in setting up and connecting new devices on their Wi-Fi networks. Basically, this would allow us to go into WPS and exploit it so we can access the network without having to crack a password. Now, that's not what it was designed for. It was designed to make users' lives easier. But with everything that makes operations easier, it makes security worse. And so what we're going to be able to do is break WPS. The way WPS was designed to work is you'd push a WPS button on the access point to set up a new device. Then you'd push WPS button on your device, your printer, your cell phone, or whatever it was. And the access point could then configure the device for you by using an eight digit pin. Now, if we can guess the pin number, we can gain access to the network. And because it's only an eight digit pin, this makes it pretty easy for us, especially because this eight digit pin isn't even really eight digits. It's really seven digits that are selected at random and one digit that's calculated as a checksum. So this math problem is becoming much easier, right? With seven digits, that means there's less than 10 million combinations. That makes our math problem much simpler and our computers will be able to get through this pretty darn quickly. Now, how do we exploit WPS? Well, WPS takes this pin code and verifies it's proper by breaking it into two halves, a four digit piece and a three digit piece, which further weakens the security because now we're not dealing with 10 million choices, we're only dealing with 10,000 choices, right? Or 900, 999 options to be more specific. This math problem is becoming pretty darn easy. WPS should be disabled to increase the security of your networks because as I'm going to show you, you can break into WPS very easily because your computer only has to guess 10,000 choices. This is an easy math problem for a computer to solve. And now while you may think it would take minutes to solve, it actually can take hours. Now why is that? Well, because one of the security features that WPS has now enabled in recent versions is a timeout. And so instead of being able to guess 10,000 choices in an hour, we have to guess one and wait 30 seconds and guess another one and wait 30 seconds. And you'll see this in the lab because I'll stop and fast forward. The last time I did one of these, it took about 18 hours to find the pin. Because again, that pin is random. If it starts out with a low number like one, it's gonna be pretty quick. If it starts with a high number like nine, it can take us many, many hours to crack. But the good news is every single time in less than 24 hours, we will be able to crack WPS. And for that reason alone, you should never use WPS in your production networks anymore.